Greetings guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Monette and this is my channel Evolve with Monette. For those of you that are new here, I'm a professional intuitive empath, so good to share energy with you today. Good morning, good morning, good morning guys. Just finished up my morning meditations and the download came in to give thanks for your nine lives. Give thanks for your nine lives. So in our empath life, obviously, we have all of these tower moments that happen to us, right? Like, good morning. Hope you got your coffee ready. We're going to go right into the tower. So that's death, transformation, and rebirth. And they are happening repeatedly. And it gets exhausting. And you're like, okay, have I not like leveled up? Have I not learned? Uh, at why am I being punished? These might be some of the questions that flow through your mind. Well, you're not. You're being trained. You're being trained like a samurai. You're being trained because there is such an important necessity for you to know about your weaponry empath and yes you have weapons in order to survive the next chapter of your life okay pardon me guys so give thanks for your nine lives what this is going to activate for you with this gratitude it's like it's going to open up a better understanding of each of the lessons because a lot of us are graduating and that's just been the channeling i keep channeling um pomp and circumstance uh, i remember being in band and playing that and it's just going mm -hmm, like i'm hearing like pomp and circumstance so you're graduating guys we're graduating there's a huge class and there's waves and so whoever needs to find this video will find it at the right time but if you're listening you're part of the graduating class and one of the things that you need to understand is that in order to go into this next level, into your promised land, into milk and honey, into ascension, whatever that is, you have to really be grateful for the lessons, even the tough ones, even the ones where you took the L, even the ones where it didn't go well for you, where you were hurt, where you left scarred. There are things you learn in every single one of those. And I want you to kind of be like Thanos and go collect all of those infinity stones because they actually give you superpowers in the next level. You're able to outwit, to outsmart. You're able to emotionally regulate. You know, a lot of uh, amphibians, you know, I'm thinking of um, frogs and other things that like a cold blooded animal specifically have a way of like surviving in winter in water. Like you've ever seen alligators like po poking their snout up through frozen ice they can survive and like these and stabilize their body you guys learn so many skills in your survival energy when you're deep in the matrix <laughs> before before this graduation and a lot of it's always cloaked in the pain and the bitterness and the sadness that we feel because it hurt because betrayal sucks because being betrayed by people you love or, or fooled or tricked or whatever you went through. It's something that really scars you. It really takes an emotional toll on you, but you were able to learn something so that you can push through. And so your angel said, uh, have them be steeped in gratitude. I was drinking my tea and I heard that have them be steeped in gratitude for each infinity stone for each lesson. And so I'm going to give you a little homework this week guys to write down what each like the worst thing that happened with the lesson and then write down what you learned about yourself how to fight how to survive how to escape because of it now that can be a little triggering and i you know was inspired to by what's going on with cassie and p diddy uh, uh <sighs> this guy Y'all, the vitriol. I remember last October when all of this dropped and everybody was figuring out about Sloan Bella and all that stuff. I've been watching Sloan Bella for a lot of years, so if you guys know, she's a medium who predicted that Kim Porter would be <laughs> literally helping from the other side um, to bring Diddy down. I will connect that video below because if you don't know Sloan, it's good for you to meet her. If you're part of this tribe, you should know who she is. Uh, she's been doing work for a lot of years. Some of my favorite channelings are from years ago of hers, which are... Freddie Mercury was probably one of my favorite channelings of hers from Queen. In any case, guys, she channels all kinds of celebrities and explains a lot of um, <laughs> outside of the Matrix information. She is deeper waters. So, you know, enter at your own risk. I'm very comfortable with it uh, and her work, and I find it to be incredibly validating. But also, she's very gifted, that part. So anyway... Uh, but she's got blown up a lot recently because of the Diddy Cassie stuff. But y'all, she's been around and she's a fantastic resource if you if you are interested. All right, so that part's done. <laughs> Back to um, 
So we were talking about Sloan Bella. What were we talking about, guys? Uh, angels, bring it back to me. Oh, giving thanks, being steeped in gratitude. And uh, I don't I don't remember. I totally lost it. <laughs> okay. Giving thanks, being steeped in gratitude. Something about your next slides. Oh, writing down your trauma versus your thing. The Cassie thing triggered me. I have wanted to make a video about it and it just kept like the hits kept coming no pun intended what we just watched was to be expected if you know monsters you know monsters you know and unfortunately i've known monsters and so i had a very visceral i was literally driving and i was on the phone and i was talking to someone and i was like i would start crying not because of the video. This is months ago. There's something about Diddy's energy that just fully decentered me and never liked him personally. Um, always kind of felt his smarminess, but now we're dealing with a whole nother thing. Uh, something to understand about that, guys, too, is that from a spiritual perspective, people sign up to be certain things, certain to bring certain archetypes before us so that we can examine and study. And Diddy signed up to be a demon. No cap. A full ass demon. He signed up to show us that darkness exists right in front of you and exactly how it masquerades and smiles, how it puts on facades and it lies and it beguiles. Did he? Signed up for us to examine this right now. And I hate. His proximity to everyone in death. He is a Scorpio. Y'all, I'm trying not to get into it because I have so many feelings about this and I kind of feel like I should be on camera for it. I like, I want to look at you guys and talk to you about this. This is really important for you to understand Scorpionic energy. Because what you're seeing is its expression when it's absolutely unevolved. We all have duality. We all exist in duality. And you can be a higher vibration this or a lower vibration that. And all of us have had experiences being both of those things. If you're on this earth school. But some people are void. And empaths, often we project our spirituality and our humanity onto demons like Diddy. Maybe you've loved a demon like Diddy loved. Air quotes here. Maybe you've given too much. And maybe some of those infinity stones that we were talking about in the beginning were exactly situations where you were loving or being loved, quote unquote, by someone like that. And those leave scars. But here's the thing. For Cassie, thank you, angels, for the assist. They just fully swept in, and I'm so grateful. This is coming through me for you guys. For Cassie... There are still scars. I think we can surmise that just from the little bit that we saw. But look how God, ancestors, spirit team, angels, pulled her out of that fire and literally blessed her life. And we can focus on the blessings and a beautiful man that supports her and a beautiful child. And my heart just is so open for her to have some happiness in her life and some peace and some grounding and regulation and normalcy. But I'm going to go back to the painful part because that's where a lot of us like to be. She learned how to battle when she was setting herself free. Empath, you are Cassie in your own ways. Those tower moments took a toll and you bled for days and days and your angels want you to know that someone knows that. They watched you and not in jeering and laughing at you but in loving and cheering for you because they said you have other work to do and the ditties of the world were not going to take get or keep you they couldn't kill you and so they gave you kathy as an example who signed up to play that archetype that we're watching because she is on her hero's journey for redemption the lawsuit that Cassie filed was settled within 24 hours. It's literally something that they said was historical. We've never seen anything like it. The gossip blogs couldn't even start churning fast enough in order to document it because 
it happened so quickly. Grand opening, grand closing. She became a warrior. In those tower moments, guys. Just like you. She had to learn the enemy. Because she had spiritual work to do. She had to lead an army of people. But she had to do it by herself. Sometimes it will be just you. It'll be just you sticking your neck out. It'll be just you taking the first arrows. And people will call you crazy. And they'll laugh. And they'll hide behind you. And then they'll want to sidle up. (laughs) And pretend that they wanted to help you. But it was just you. And she needed to be just her. But look what she did after her. How many people have come out. How many people have gathered their strength. But she had to learn her best fighting matches against a real demon. The reason they asked me to have you be steeped in gratitude about the pain that was bestowed upon you. In this lesson, in this earth school, they said they want you to transmute it because you learned something so beautiful about yourself from it. And also you learn how to survive. But they said acknowledge that sometimes when you spend so much time proximal to the darkness... You become the darkness. And the angels are wanting to wash a lot of that out of you. They said that's residual. And some of us have held on to it. They're showing a baby in front of me right now with two fists clenched, you know? Like one around one of those teeth and cookies. And they said you guys were cutting your teeth on this demon. Oh, that's a fucking word. Y'all were cutting your teeth. You were just cutting your teeth. You're a demon slayer, sweetie. <laughs> You're a narc destroyer, my loves. You had an actual mandate to do exactly what you did and take off the fucking gloves. However you survived, however you got out, however you stayed alive, that's exactly why they allowed you to be next to the demon. Because they knew that you would figure out how to survive. And in this next phase, graduates of your life, those skills come in handy, but in order for them to be sparkling and gleaming, never needing to be polished, you have to release the grit of playing in the mud with people like Diddy that were absolutely fucked up because it stains us. And we're pretty, bitches. (laughs) We're pretty. We're too pretty for that, my good sisters. This is soft lifetime. This is rest and relaxation time. Even if you're working, this is your kind of grind, whatever that's right for you. But it's because you have other work to do. And you don't have the work to just be in misery. The angels are so wanting you to understand you have to set yourself free. And understand that if you took that and took that from your ditty, that it was so that you could be the best warrior you could be. That's the best way that I can transmute that for you. But they said, you have work to do. Examine it for yourself. What were the hardest lessons that you've been through? And how did you learn to be the best person that you've ever been? You know you're smarter. You feel it. Not just without, but within. You know that that whatever tower you survived helped you to now thrive. That part. And they said, if you can make the correlation and connection between the two, then you can get into the part of Cassie's life and be, you know, in accordance with that kind of archetype and understand there is living work to do. See, we've been in the fighting work and the surviving work and the betrayal work and the treachery work and the gossip work. But now they want you to be happy and get back to your worth. The card that I'm channeling is from the Goddess Oracle deck. It is Worthiness. And she is draped in purple. An absolutely gorgeous. I saw her before I went to bed last night. It was one of the last cards I pulled with the clients. And my angel said, this is for you. So I pass this to you too. Beautiful collective. You are worthy. You are worthy of being happy. You are worthy of love. You are worthy of whatever it is that you've ever asked for on your list. You know the list. The list that's just to yourself. (laughs) The list that you don't share with anyone else. The list of things that would make you feel like you've lived a life worth living. You're worthy of that. And the angel said they are now in the business of giving. And it's because you've given so much. 
They said reciprocity. They said this reciprocity is on us. I love you guys so much. So good sharing energy with you. Come back and join me next time and we'll continue to evolve together.